Hello and welcome back to this afternoon. I hope you had a fantastic time so far networking on the platform and meeting some new uh, suppliers down the way. We now have a, an, a different supplier altogether, namely Germany. So we have, um, I'm going to ask Mr. Stefan Reiter to come on in a moment to explain to you uh, why Germany should be your trusted supplier of pork, beef and other products. Um, he also brought along with him um, representatives from Friedrich Neckermann, Tönnies, VMAX, Vion and Westfleisch, who are also going to uh, show you what they have on offer for, um, for this year. So please, um, without further ado, uh, German meet. Thank you. Hello and a warm welcome to all of you joining our German meat seminar. My name is Steffen Reiter. I'm general manager of the German Meat Association. At first, I would like to thank the organizers of FHA Match and GEFA for organizing this meet event here today. I will start to share my screen with you now. German Meat is the joint export organization of the German meat industry. We are trying to ensure the German meat exporters have access to international meat markets. And in times without Corona, we are organizing group participation in trade fairs like FHA, OHOFEX, and business meetings all over the world. We are bringing together international buyers and German meat exporters. And this is our main ob objective for today. So I will give you a very short introduction to the main figures of the German meat market. And afterwards, our company will introduce themselves. With us today are five companies and their representatives. They all belong to the European top companies. But before we start with all the numbers, we will present a short film to you on the German meat production. Germany, a country in the heart of Europe. What's considered to be typically German? Machines, lots of industry, cars. Is that really all? No. Many other things are typically German. Fields, mountains, seaside beaches, our culture and the people who enjoy life. With 357,000 square kilometers, of which more than 82% are being used for agricultural and forestry purposes, we are Europe's largest producer and exporter of meat and meat products. How do we achieve that? Well, in a typical German way with premium feed, which is largely grown locally and processed in modern production facilities. Thanks to our well-trained and highly qualified farmers, most of whom run their family businesses. Because our livestock receives the best of care and attention. With humane and specimen adequate animal husbandry methods by the dialogue between science and farmers. With strong tradition, commitment and care handed down from generation to generation. Because of careful animal transports over short distances. Thanks to state-of-the-art slaughtering and butchering techniques that enable us to deliver premium quality products. Through thorough and strict quality checks, in all production stages. We're also the number one thanks to the diversity of our products. And because of processing plants who skillfully combine tradition with modern applications and create world famous specialities. Thanks to intelligent logistics that deliver our products to our customers quickly and always on time. And highly efficient customer-oriented meat marketing companies who know the demands of their customers. We give our best to always satisfy our customers all around the globe with the premium products they expect from us. Meats, sausages and cold cuts of consistently high quality. That's typically German. Our 
first market slide gives you a very summarized overview on the German meat market. What you should keep in mind, with a consumption of 84.5 kilogram per capita, you can call the Germans meat lovers. The most important type of meat is pork, followed by poultry and beef. There has been a considerable increase in consumption in poultry in recent years, while beef has been essentially constant and in pork it is declining. 2020, Germany produced more than 5 million tons of pork meat. That makes us number one in Europe, followed by Spain with 5 million tons and France with 2.2 million tons. In a worldwide comparison, Germany ranks third behind China and the US. As you can see from the pie chart, 37% of the German pork exports are going to countries outside the EU. This number rose continuously as we got more and more market access, especially in Asian countries. The total pork meat export in 2020 was 2.7 million tons, which means a decrease of 5.2% compared to the previous year. The most important sales market was China, followed by Italy and the Netherlands. But with the outbreak of African swine fever last year, this changed and some countries raised temporary restrictions. But we managed to get back access to several markets again. Where do we keep the pigs that we need for our pork production? Most of the pigs are kept in the northwestern part of Germany, in the federal states of North Rhine-Westphalia and Lower Saxony. Another center of production can be found in the south of Germany and Bavaria. Why do I present this chart? It is to show that our main production areas are not affected by the African swine fever. As you can see, the, con uh, the uh, concentration of pork production in the northwest and in the south is very favorable. This map shows you the regions where we have detected African swine fever outbreaks in wild boars. The outbreak site are located more directly on the border with Poland. We have no outbreaks in domestic swine. There's a 100% separation of wild boar and domestic pigs in Germany. All outbreaks locations have been subject to restriction measures and spread is prevented by targeted measures such as fencing and creating white zones where all wild boars will be hunted down. Pigs from a restricted zone can only be slaughtered in dedicated slaughterhouses and with special allowance and supervision. With our traceability systems, we can assure that no pigs from restricted zones will go to export markets. Every porcine livestock holding, even when there are only one or two pigs kept, has to be registered in the central HIT database. At the time of weaning, at the latest, every piglet is to be identified by marking it with piglet ear tags indicating the farm registration number. The receipt of animals is electronically submitted from the farm to the HIT database. The stamp mark contains clear information on the farmer, the municipality and the district. In the slaughterhouse, the information of the stamp mark is completed with a consecutive slaughter number. There are additional systems like the GS1 database, which are used for traceability in both directions from farm to fork and back. And this is, ensures 100% safety for pork products delivered from Germany. Let's go to the beef. Even though we have no diseases in cattle, there is also a strong concentration of cattle farming in the northwest and northern part of Germany, similar to pig production. Another important region is the south, especially Bavaria. Last year, Germany was the second largest beef producer in Europe. The beef production in Germany was 1.1 million tons. Biggest producer in Germany is France with 1.4 million tons. On third place, you can find Italy with uh, 0 0.73 to uh, thousand tons of beef produced in 2020. The next slide shows you our beef export markets. And you can see that the main exports are going to countries in Europe with the Netherlands, France and Italy as our biggest customers. In general, more than 80% of our beef export of more than 300,000 tons stays inside the European Union. Exports have been decreased by 14%, which was mainly due to the corona related lockdowns in our most important export markets. For a lot of Asian markets, we are actually working on the market access 
We have been fully opened up for beef exports to Singapore. For the Philippines, we, are, we got the general allowance, but need to discuss some latest details on the health certificate. For countries like Vietnam, Japan, and South Korea, we are in the stage of document review and hope to get market access for beef soon. That's it from my side so far with the numbers. If you have any further question, you can contact me during the breakout session afterwards or check our website where you can find our product catalogs as well as the German suppliers. And now we can go over to the company presentation. These five, five companies are joining us today. Thank you for the attention and I give the floor to company Neckermann. Yeah, hello. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Reiter, for your introduction. Um, and welcome to the company presentation uh, of Friedrich Neckermann GmbH. My name is Matthias Koch. I'm the head of quality in the Friedrich Neckermann GmbH. And in the next few minutes, I will um, present you our company. So I will share my screen for you. So, the Friedrich Neckermann GmbH is a local slaughterhouse and um, cutting plant in Germany, Bavaria, close to uh, cities like Würzburg or Nürnberg. So, uh, who are we? Um, we are a family owned company, uh, local slaughterhouse and cutting plant for pigs and cattle. We have our own livestock uh, trading for piglets and calves and we have many years of experience in exporting meat in different countries all over the world so what we do is uh, livestock so we trading calves and piglets from producing farms to fattening farms so for us it's one point to controlling the quality as a service for the fattening farms and at last for the animals of, um, that they they get to slaughtering in in our slaughterhouse then the next part is uh, slaughter and cutting services um, for pigs and cattle in our own slaughterhouse and cutting plant uh, and here you can see our veterinary number and the uh, third part is is the export from pork and beef in different also individual cuttings fresh vacuum packaged and frozen so our um, capacity we are a local uh, slaughterhouse uh, is 4000 pigs per week and also 300 cattle per week So why we? We have short transport distance of the animals because we are in the middle of a farming area in Bavaria. Uh, we have our own stable so the animals, especially the, the pigs, can cool down from the transport and we get a good meat quality. Uh, we have long standing and uh, successful uh, business relations and partnerships to our farmers and also the personal contact um, which give you the guarantee of a uh, clean origin and also a good uh, product quality so from the meat side why we um yeah we have uh, many inspections by independent uh, control institutes and high technical and hygiene standards um, and internal quality management which is my part also for sure and um, many uh, certifications and programs which in includes uh, uh, QS and IFS and also halal and organic standards um, these products are also available and 
so we can we can offer um, because of our own cutting service special cuts from our customers and also individual pack package sizes So that are some uh, pictures from the uh, cattle slaughtering and also pork slaughtering. So our programs I, I told you and certifications, we're also organic, IFS, halal, and we are also GS1 and FTRACE uh, certificated and some uh, regional programs like uh, these you can see on the right side. Yeah, thank you very much for your attention and your interest. We are looking forward for your questions and good conversations and please meet us at our booth. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is uh, Sebastian Lauer. I'm the export manager in uh, Tunis, um, an area sales manager for markets such as Singapore, Vietnam, uh, Hong Kong. Um, and I'll just make a short introduction of our company. So I'll just put our screen here. One second. Um, First of all, I just want to make some history background about Tunis. Um, so in 1971, it was established by Mr. Byrne and, and uh, Mr. Klings, Tunis. Um, and actually this year is the 50 years anniversary <laughs> since they started the company. Um, in 1971, they started with only seven to 10 picks per week. So it was very, very small. Uh, and then there was a huge development in the, in the 70s and 80s and in 1970, in 1990, they started uh, Weissenfels, which is one of the three big factories in Germany today. In 1997, they built Rehne, which is the biggest factory in uh, in Germany and then one of the biggest in Europe. And in 1999, uh, the last of the third in, in, uh, in Circle in Weidemark. Uh, and together, they are around 350,000 to 400,000 pigs per week. Um, and then just to show here, um, this is the headquarter in Rede. So it's not only a slaughterhouse, but we also have the cutting line here and the, the coal store, so the freezer, um, and the head office for the sales and uh, our logistic company, Tevix, which is also in the same site. Um, and then you see the football stadium since uh, Clemens has also been involved in, in the football in Germany uh, for Schalke 04. Um, just some key features, um, Robert Tunis uh, and Clemens Tunis and Maximilian Tunis have the as shareholders today. And unfortunately, Clemens' brother passed away, so today is uh, his uh, nephew, who is part of the owner of the company. And uh, then we have a different divisions. There is the meat division, where I'm located in, um, taking care of the pork sales and in terms of fresh, frozen and so on. We have the beef divisions with their own salesperson. Um, Sausages, Sommelengruppe, which is a social company that we have in Germany. The convenience, uh, we have a company called Tillmans. I'll talk also about later about that. Doing um, ready consumed products for the supermarkets, fresh uh, pork and, and, and meat, uh, beef products as well. Um, then the international is also in terms of sales, uh, ingredients. So a lot of pet food products and so on of our own products. So. It's just to have the whole value chain. So we also have uh, our pet food products uh, and Tavix Logistics, our transport company, and, and our central services. Um, to just go slightly through the key figures. Uh, so the turnover was 7.1 billion euro in 2019. Uh, slaughter of pigs was 20.8 million. 
um, that was in Europe and in Germany it's 16.8 and why I've mentioned in Europe is because that we also own two uh, solar houses in Denmark and one in the UK so that is on top there and then the slaughter figures for cattle uh, where we are slaughtering around 9,000 cattle per week so around 440,000 a year um, and 16,500 employees that is both in the production sales team logistics and so on um, here's just a, a picture of where the the sites are so we have Tisted and Boyov in Denmark that is Tikan and, and SP Pork um, this was became a part of Tunis in 2016 uh, where it was bought and um, from Denmark we have a lot of good export uh, options for Japan, uh, China, US and a lot of countries that unfortunately not can export to from Germany at the moment due to the ASF situation. Um, and then we have this different sites in, uh, in Germany with green, that is the pork, uh, the beef is the red ones um, and yeah the TV logistics as well just to show that we have different sites for the logistics and the soldiers as well. So we have a lot of different sites in, in, in Germany. Um, regarding the division meat, just to have a, a short uh, introduction of that. So um, below there in the screen you see the different, uh, different companies. So in the UK we also have um, bacon companies that we deliver uh, our products to. Um, but if we see only on the pork cuts in terms of frozen and the, frozen and the beef cuts, that is the chicken and SP in Denmark and, and the Tunis uh, in, uh, in Germany. Um, what else? Yeah, but on the value chain, um, so what we, we are actually having everything from slaughter, cutting, uh, packaging, our own transport company. So we have the whole value chain. Um, so we have control of the, the production and also the way the products are kept and produced. Um, for example, one of our facilities, the data facility that I, I showed uh, earlier, uh, we have like online production, meaning that we are producing the goods, then they're going to the freezer and then they will be there for one to two days. Uh, and then they will immediately going on a, on a line, the cartons, and they will go directly into the trucks that will go directly to the port. Uh, and in that way, we can avoid to, to put it into external cold stores and, and, and have to pelletize them and so on. So it's, it's, it's much better to have the direct uh, transport uh, directly to the containers and then to the port and to the customers in, in the different countries. Um, and other than that, we are a, a big company with a huge production every week. So of course, in terms of uh, standards and quality and making sure that it's, it's the products is more or less kept the same way, you know, in terms of cutting and so on. Um, and we have a lot of flexibility in terms of different special cuts that the customers might request. Um, so yeah. And also if there's some customers with, with big quantities they're looking for, we are we able to supply them. Um, a short introduction of the convenience. Uh, so Tillman's is a uh, product that is going for, for example, fresh products going into the supermarkets, uh, can also be frozen, could be just like uh, vacuum packed products where we're doing the, the, the cutting in the, uh, in the facility. Or we can also have finished uh, meat products like schnitzel, toasties and so on that you see on, on the picture there. Um, also going to supermarkets. So yeah, it's different um, products that we are, we are handling. Also like spare ribs that has been marinated and so on. And this is also possible to look into to exports to, to the different markets. It's not only in, in Germany, even though that's of course where we have the biggest share today. Um, and Sumulingrobe, that is uh, number one in, in Germany and Europe in terms of sausages. Um, and the speciality is uh, the, the, the burger on the, uh, in the, on the glass. Um, we have 4,000 employees in Sumulingrobe. And uh, yeah, um, again, it's also one of the, the biggest shares in Germany. But we also do exports for other European countries, but also for, for Asian countries. Um, and then division ingredients, as I told a little bit about before, that is in terms of not only the pet food, but also if we have some offals, we have, for example, one company, which is taking care of the, the stomachs and, and the rectums and other products that has to be treated in a different way. Um, and therefore, instead of having in it our production in our other facilities, we have one uh, production, uh, one facility for that. Um, and division international, um, we are 
more or less approved for, for all countries, which is possible with the, with the ESF in Germany. So that even though not all factories are approved for, for Singapore, not all factories are approved for Vietnam and so on, we have the possibility to, to export to, to each market um, from either of the, the plants. Um, SP Pork and Tikan in Denmark, we are approved for, for China and so on. Um, so, um, yeah, we have the flexibility and we're able to offer to more or less all countries from either of our, uh, one of our plants. Um, and the logistics, um, yeah, but that's also the good flexibility we have that we have own trucks and own trailers. And it's also a way to be flexible for us in terms of the online production. Um, so yeah, we are, even though we are not using own containers, we are using our own uh, trailers. Um, and that's also a good way for this with our teams, we have this possibility to load with the train and get to the port, and in that way we can load up to 28 tons uh, net and instead of only 24 or 25, which is uh, possible in Germany. So that also gives us some flexibility there. Um, in terms of any specific requests of products or different cuts or pictures of products, um, I would uh, refer to to send uh, an email or contact me at the FHA uh, booth. And then I will uh, answer more questions or, or send photos of the different products. But uh, thank you for the attention and uh, I will pass the words on. Okay, sorry. Uh, hello, this is Hendrik Vogt from company VMAX. Uh, we are a, tra a trading company uh, based in Remagen in the heart of Germany. Um, a, a little bit about VMAX. Uh, we were founded in 2014. Um, uh, our main targets are also in Southeast Asia and also uh, Hong Kong, China. Malaysia, Singapore, and we are here to extend or to expand our business relations, find new friends, new business relations, and so on. We can offer you tailor-made solutions uh, for each kind of product, so don't hesitate to contact us with uh, your special request or with some specifications, and we are here and gladly will offer you all the kind of products. Uh, you may ask, why shall I work with a trading company? That's a good question. But in Germany, we have about more than 200 slaughterhouses and cutting plants, of which only very few export themselves. And uh, throughout the years, we established a good relationship with our suppliers. We go there often and check them regularly. Uh, besides that, I have more than 20 years of experience in the meat market. So we can also speak about other countries. Uh, for instance, we can also offer from Brazil or from Chile. So don't hesitate to contact us. Also, we have the acknowledged to work on uh, various payment terms such as LC. Uh, we know we can cover the exchange rate we can offer in USD, which most of the regional uh, plants cannot. VMAX is able also to guarantee exclusive business with certain suppliers. That means uh, when you are set, uh, satisfied with our products, we can gladly uh do a regular business and see how it goes what can we offer um we can offer basically everything from the pork and everything for the beef uh, from the beef i would like to highlight uh pork bellies uh, pork fats offal front feet hind feet pork hocks and trimmings and much more um we would like to find some new customers in Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, also more customers in Hong Kong and wherever we can do something. Uh, we can also offer beef conicals, beef tripe, beef short ribs, beef shin and shank, tendons, golden corn, heel muscle, 
in every way of packaging. We can do them vacuum pack, we can do them individually wrap packed, and we can also put them book and cartons or offer poly block. It's up to you. Whom are we looking for? Uh, we are looking for agents, importers, distributors, partners, wholesalers, and also friends in Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, Philippines, and the People's Republic of China and Hong Kong, South Korea, and also Thailand. Yeah, how to get in touch with us? Uh, also via the FHA booth, which we would like to ask you to contact us. But here you can also find our email address, uh, our homepage, and uh, our phone. Please don't hesitate uh, to contact us. Uh, we can also speak Chinese, so whatever you need, please contact us. And uh, thank you for your time and hope to see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our website. My name is Patrick Ballering. I am uh, the S regional sales director of Vion Food International Pacific. We are the sales organization of the Vion Food Group based in the Netherlands. Looking forward to meet you on our uh, website at our booth. And I would like to show you our presentation now. So to start with, uh, Vion uh, Food Group is uh, in the top three in Europe. We are based in the Netherlands um, uh, with our production locations in the Netherlands, Germany and Belgium. Uh, we are producing pork and beef. Um, we have around about uh, 5 billion uh, uh, revenue uh, in 2020. Uh, we have uh, our sales support officers, so our own sales organization in Europe and outside. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, our production locations are based in the Netherlands and Germany. And as you can see, uh, we're in, in all the regions in both countries where there's uh, a large pork production and beef. Uh, mainly pork is uh, what we export to the Asian countries. We sell uh, to over 10 countries at the moment in Asia and of where, of course, Vietnam is our uh, future market where we are highly interested in. Thank you. Next slide. Uh, just said that we have our sales organization, sales support offices all over Europe. And in Asia, we are based in uh, Hong Kong, which is regional head office. We're based in China, in Qingdao, and in Guangzhou. We're based in Singapore. And we are building our office or uh, starting up an office in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. This we do because we'd like to get close to our clients and to understand and know the market better. Next slide. So business unit pork, we supply national and international retailers, food service, uh, yeah, and, and, and all, all, all segments in the market. We have 12 production locations all over uh, to in total in the Netherlands and Germany, where we have 7,500 uh, FTEs. Um, our sales volume is uh, uh, 1,573,000 tons. Thank you. Next slide. Business unit beef. So we have 11 production locations. Uh, we have about uh, close to 3,000 FTEs, 2,750. And uh, we slaughter uh, beef in both the Netherlands and Germany. In the Netherlands, it's around about 3,000 cattle per week. And in Germany, around 17,000 cattle per week. Uh, our export is mainly in Europe for the moment. Um, yes, you can do the next slide, yeah. So uh, we offer a wide range of products, uh, fresh pre-packed meat, processed meat. Obviously for Asia, it's all frozen. And uh, we uh, carry uh, uh, huge, large quantities per uh, reefer container to our end markets in Asia. Next. So our brand is uh, Vion Food Family. Uh, all cartons uh, have this logo. We export uh, in all over Asia in large and small cartons. Many of the products for Asian countries, we do also in 10 kg standardized product. Next. 
uh, these are some uh, examples of products which we think can be interesting for the uh, Vietnamese market. Next. Uh, again, here you see some beef products which we might be able to export uh, uh, to some Asian countries. Of course, we always have to check which country we have uh, approval or not. Next. Uh, again, uh, a lot of examples of byproducts which we can uh, pack, which we are packing and exporting. Next. Uh, so our production plants in the Netherlands uh, on pork uh, are in the green and in Germany. And the cold stores we use for the exports are in blue, both in the Netherlands and in Germany. These are all approved for China, but also for almost all other Asian countries. Next. Uh, here you have the context. Uh, so Hong Kong is our regional head office, as said. Uh, for Vietnam, currently, uh, you can contact us there. And once we have established our new sales office in Ho Chi Minh, uh, you will get the contacts over there. For um, China, we have the two offices. And for Singapore, we have our office, as you can see. The Vion Beef uh, is Mr. Pereira, who is based in the south of Germany, Buchlo. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope to meet you soon. Yeah, thank you very much. From my side as well, hello and a warm welcome to today's German meat session. We are happy to be here today um, to show you what Westreich is about. I am Jan Bern Stierk, being responsible for the sales of pork and beef to non-European countries. And I will show you now what Westfleisch is about. So Westfleisch from farmers directly, what does it mean? Westfleisch, we are founded in 1928, means more than 90 years old. What is unique for us, we are a farmers cooperative, means the farmers are our base. In total, we have 4,480 members, made a turnover last year of 2.83 billion euros. Our export share is roughly 44% and the slaughter volume in total last year was 7.9 million heads, means 7.5 million pigs and the rest was cattle, so roughly 400,000 400, heads as well. So here, just to give you a feeling who we are, we are, as I told you before, a farmers cooperative and the farms are our base, let's say, we are working daily for them to achieve the best results uh, for them. All our partners have family businesses, means all the farms are mainly family owned. So where are we located? We are located in the northwestern part of Germany, the part of Germany with the highest pig density. In total, we have 11 locations, means seven meat centers and two processing site, sites. So you see, we have it all in one hand from farm to fork, as Mr. Reiter told before, full traceability is there. We are quite close as well. You can see it to the Dutch border. So we have our meat center in Barkum and Lübecke, where we are slaughtering beef. And then we have our other meat centers slaughtering pork and as well our meat center in Dissen, where we have a joint venture with Danish Crown, where we are deboning sows over there. So just to give you a rough overview here of our plants, I would like to highlight out our plant in Erkenschwick. There you have 130,000 square meter under roof. Over there is as well located our sausage production, so-called Gustoland. So you see we have a strong companionship means from farm to fork all in one, one hand, just to highlight out. Um, as well, we are producing for the German supermarkets with our brand Westfalenland. We are producing 
frozen convenience, ice house, and Gusteland, our sausage manufacturing, as well, West Crown is a joint venture for Saudi morning. We have our own logistics with Vitralog and as well our own cold storage with Cold Store Ham. So what did we do? As I told you before, um, yeah, almost 8 million heads means 7.5 million heads of pork. This was a minus compared to 2019 of 3.5% as well due to all the COVID issues we had over here. And if it comes uh, to beef, we slaughtered uh, up to 436,000 heads. This was a slight plus of 0.6%. So that's already it. Short overview of what Westlash is doing. We are looking forward to explore with you more opportunities especially in Asia. So see you at our booth and we are looking forward to the breakout session. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you to my colleagues for presenting their companies here. Thank you as well to all of you listening to our presentations. As you have seen, Germany offers you a wide range of highly reliable companies. They all offer top quality and service to you. And now we are looking forward to meeting you in the breakout session or on the FHA match or salad platform. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you so much, Mr. Reiter. I would like now to ask uh, the speakers to also come on board for the Q&A session and turn on your cameras, please. So um, here we go. Guten Morgen and hello to Germany and everywhere else. I think we have people from anywhere. I think from Hong Kong all the way to Germany, to Singapore, etc. Good to see you. I see that uh, some uh, colleagues may still need some help with the cameras. Uh, I think our tech team will help with this. Okay, fantastic. So maybe we can get started. So we received uh, a, a few questions around a very clear question basically on um, which markets are you looking uh, to export to or like find new customers in? So I think this would be a question for everyone for you. So perhaps we can start the conversation by uh, Mr. Friedrich Neckermann, who first started. Um, so to turn on your camera, so we go that way. I would like to ask you first, so which markets are you looking uh, into for, to find new customers in? Hello and good morning from Germany. Um, yeah, we're not uh, uh, we're not tied to particular to, to any particular country. So um, yeah, we are we are looking to 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 new customer and we are yeah we're looking for um, uh, good conversations and also find new friends and. Uh, but we're not so fixed on a special country. So all the Asian market, which is possible at the moment, and we are certificated. Um, so, and yeah. Okay, so fantastic. Um, how about uh, Vion Foods? Uh, good morning to you. Uh, which markets are you looking to, to export to or find new, uh, new clients in? You might be unmuted, so you probably have to unmute yourself. Let me ask to unmute, there you go. Oh, here we go, yes. No, still not, we still can't hear you. We'll fix that issue. Uh, let's move to the next one, unless you, you you got it working now? I got, I, I can oh, hear you. Go. Yes, can you it should work. Yes? Okay. Yes, now it works, absolutely. So okay, good afternoon. Yes. Um, yeah, we are based in, in, in Asia already for uh, almost 10 years. And we have built up quite a few markets here. Our main markets obviously is China. 
uh, followed by Japan, Korea, and then uh, all the other smaller growth markets. Uh, uh, growth markets for the moment are Vietnam, uh, uh, Philippines. Um, yeah, and we uh, so that's where we see the, the growth for the moment. Obviously, uh, we lost China for our German factories, uh, which will uh, hopefully come back in the, in the near future. What is the near future? Nobody knows. One year, two years. Uh, but we managed to um, to increase strongly our production in the Netherlands and our exports to to China, so that it compensates. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So if you ask where, which country? Well, a few countries in Asia. But we see the the, the growth will be here, obviously. Okay, great. Um, fantastic. May I ask Tunis now, Mr. Sebastian Lorson or uh, Arthur, Arthur uh, Unrau, if you can please answer the question. Uh, let me see if they can be unmuted and start their videos. I think we have some small technical issues. Well, we move to VMAX. How about you, Mr. Mr. Voigt? Um, yes. Good morning. Good markets, this is uh, good morning to you. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Which markets are you looking to export to? What? What? Uh, which ones are you hoping to open up? Yes, it's also uh, Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia. Um, to extend the business a little bit with Korea, but maybe also Japan, Hong Kong, and uh, Philippines. That's it. And Philippines as well. Yeah. And you mentioned your presentation, you're also able to supply halal certified meats. Is that correct? Uh, no, that's not correct. Uh, okay. Uh, especially not from Germany. Okay. At the moment, no. Okay. Good to know. Um, who, who else we got? We got Westfleisch. Um, let me see. They should be able to turn on their cameras. Um, Okay, Max and Jolene, can you please help to turn on their cameras? That would be great. <laughs> Mr. Hübner, I see that you're also there. Good to see you. Um, I, yes, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good, and good morning yeah. to you. I, good, I morning, saw that yeah, okay. good morning. I saw that there's a, um, a very important drive for regionalization and an approach for making sure that the products are clear, clear where they are uh, from origin. So how can buyers be assured of the origin because of ASF being such an issue? Uh, where, where do they, um, how do they know that it's really from that particular village or area? I might answer should... this question, I think. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, at first, let me stress out that uh, at this time, we have only outbreaks of African swine fever and wild boar. Mm -hmm. No outbreak in house swine. So, so far, all these, all this uh, virus could be kept, kept out of uh, commercial plants uh, in Germany. We have a strict separation between the wild boars and um, these commercial plants. And so this is at first a good assurance that all products are safe. Uh, on the second hand, um, pigs for slaughtering that come from restricted zones, as you have seen, these restricted zones are all located at the border to Poland. Um, all pigs that come from restricted zones have to be slaughtered in special dedicated and EU approved slaughterhouses so that they can be phased out of uh, the marketing chain for exports. And we have strict rules on traceability. Mm -hmm. All movement of these pigs is controlled by the veterinarian authorities. And our companies as well have uh, traceability systems like GS1 in place so that they can make sure that they only supply with the safe meat. And in the end, everything is controlled from official veterinarians. At first, if the farmer sends the pig to the slaughterhouse, when the mm -hmm. pigs arrive at the slaughterhouse, everything is controlled. And in the, in the end, before exporting it, it will be checked again by an official veterinarian who is issuing the health certificate and uh, he will make sure that everything is correct and that there, is no, there are no pigs from restricted areas 
in your batch of exports. Okay. Oh, that's important. I think there's already been uh, some progress made in the last couple of months, I think, on that side. So it's great to hear that that uh, we're moving forward there. Now I see that we have some colleagues as well who turned on uh, the camera. Wonderful. Westfleisch, good morning to you. Um, which markets are you looking to export to or find new clients in? Okay. Now it's working out? Yes, it's working. Okay, now it's working out. Yeah, good morning. Sorry for technical issues. I changed uh, uh, I changed to the phone, so now it's working out. Um, let's say which markets uh, are we looking for? For sure, we have all the restrictions right now uh, with ASF here in Germany, unfortunately. So mainly right now, the focus is uh, on Hong Kong, on, um, on Singapore, and on Vietnam. These are the three main markets at the moment especially um especially in vietnam we see some some space to expand let's say so these are uh, the markets where we have to focus on nevertheless we are um we are looking as well for new contacts let's say in other markets so maybe this store will will be open soon um if the countries accept regionalization over there yeah okay Great. I try to get uh, Tönnies uh, Lebensmittel also on, but it seems both of them have some technical issues. But uh, don't worry, we, we shared all the contacts in the chat. So, um, and I would also ask everybody who's viewing to check out their pavilion uh, and have one-on-one -on -one conversations with, uh, with the suppliers, because they can be much more in depth and give you a better overview of how their certification process works how you can be assured of the quality and equally which markets are probably the most interesting for, for them and you to explore together. So um, at this stage, um, or does tennis come on? I'm not sure, no. <laughs> so at this stage, I would like to ask everybody to uh, go check out the German Pavilion and have a conversation with them um, over the next couple of days. Remember, the platform is still open for a whole week. You can um, also review this uh, on this video on demand and their presentations are able for download. So um, you should be able to find it now in the link. So please make sure you, you have conversations with the gentleman in person, because I think it's a, a bit more um, in detail uh, what you have to discuss with them. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.